Okay, haven't made a video in a little while, but it's because I've been really working on my left hand. So I wanted to talk about um, a few things I've been working on. So mainly it's uh, releasing tension in my left hand. After I play a finger, um, the finger before it uh, needs to release tension. So let's just talk about in this. And that common little thing, I'm just doing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, I'm making sure I'm not keeping my finger depressed on the string to where it would make a sound if I struck it in the right hand. I'm lifting after every single finger, I'm releasing pressure in the finger before it. And um, that's something I've really been working on and uh, it's, it feels a lot smoother when I play that way now. And um, see another thing I've been working on is in Prelude 4. So. that arpeggio section is fluidly moving my arm rather than hopping and that's applicable everywhere. I just use Prelude 4 as, as an example. Also is doing this in Carcassi too. I was jumping before. I'm over exaggerating so you can see what I mean in this camera views like hopping around the fretboard like this. Um, using gravity to move along the fretboard um, really helps if you think of it like that. It's sliding along the fretboard using gravity so I, I'm, I've been thinking of it like this. So like falling, like relaxing your shoulder and just letting your arm fall. That looks a whole lot different uh, just from the camera display here. I can see it looks a whole lot different than going. Okay, it's tempting to do that because you want to nail the position. You want to get there as fast as possible. But if you're visualizing where you're going and you're imagining your fingers being there, Not, uh, it's not too bad and uh, yeah it helps a whole lot um, another thing I've been working on just after my lesson today um, I started working on this when so it's just say um, four notes you move up another four frets another four frets okay so doing the same thing tension release right but keeping your guide fingers like I talked in the last video keeping the guide finger the first finger sliding along the top of this fret not depressed but just gliding along the top um, here right when your fourth finger comes down um, this first finger should be um, back on the fret um, or back on the string ready to slide up to the next position so um, I've been practicing going like this so it's like right when this fourth finger comes down bam my first finger this one right here is setting down in a natural relaxed position and not on a specific fret just how my hand is relaxed here so and I've been working on that a lot because of like fluidity and um, if you don't do that and you just kind of like try to hop your finger you're kind of guessing to a random spot and it doesn't um, it doesn't help the whole idea of working on trying to fall off the fretboard this Setting your finger down like I was just talking about here really helps with that because you can feel this finger gliding all the way till you get up to the top. So I'm practicing that on every string a whole lot. I just sat here in front of the metronome slowly speeding up making sure I was doing it right. And also you can practice just going like this. So all the position changes which is the 4th and 5th fret, um, you know, uh, what, um, 7 and 8 and back here up up by the 12th fret. Um, you can practice just going 4 to 1 four to one, four to one, and uh, making sure that this finger, this is the most important one here, is sliding when you're changing here. So it's on, it's resting on the fret right now in a natural position, and making sure you don't press down early and end up doing a glass. like, you don't want that. So I've been practicing doing this. And then, you know, back where the next, you okay, you go like this, up, oh, this is the next one. And making sure that your arm's not going. You know, you want it to be nice and... Nice and smooth up the fretboard. Um, other than that, I've been working on Prelude 3. Not too much to talk about that right now. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I guess that's what I wanted to cover in this video. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching.